So my passion for the Chargers started back when I was little, um, pretty much like every kid in the early 80s, um, born in the early 80s. Uh, we, I grew up watching Duke Sazzard, watching all those shows, and um, the 69 Charger really stuck on, to me. Um, I started mowing lawns uh, back when I was 14 to save up for a Charger. And um, whenever I was about 15 or so, I came across a 67 Camaro that uh, popped up for sale. And I was, I was just maybe like $100 short and asked my dad if he could lend me some money and he said no, um, which I got really upset with him because I was really gonna, really excited about just getting a car. And so afterwards he said that the reason why he wasn't gonna lend me the money was because he knew that I've always wanted a charger. And so I found a few 69 chargers that, and a 70 charger that I looked at, but they were all pretty much not, not good deals. And uh, summer of 97, I was about to turn 16, a week before my 16th birthday, I came across this uh, 68 charger on the local newspaper and the guy was selling it for 1200 So I called him up and my dad and I drove out there and I was managed to talk the guy down to $800. So that's pretty much how the passion started. And I've had this car since 97, and uh, through those years, the 68 really has become my favorite year. So I prefer the 68 over a 69 any day uh, now. save enough money to get it painted. It was originally like a burnt red, uh, really uh, faded red that uh, the car originally came in. And I was able to uh, paint it Viper Red and I put a black RT stripe and it had a black vinyl top on it. And so that's pretty much how I drove it uh, through high school. Every single Friday, my dad and I would go out to the drag races and I would take it and so it was a lot of fun. We ended up uh, actually um, camming the car, putting a Edelbrock 750 dual uh, pumper in there, um, anything that I could, uh, headers, open headers, and I got to the point where the car was so hot that it just wouldn't really idle and wasn't really street legal uh, anymore. I couldn't really drive it anywhere, so I wasn't really enjoying the car because I was only able to get it to drive it on, on weekends or on Friday nights whenever we'd go out to the drag strip, where it's really just a, a, a weekend racer and I couldn't really enjoy it. And so at that point, uh, I went over to uh, Texas State and uh, left my car behind. And it just kind of sat in front of our house for six or seven months. Finally, my freshman year in college, I ended up uh, getting enough money, drove it, uh, took a plane down to El Paso where I'm originally from, and actually drove the car all the way to um, San Marcos, Texas. During college, I met my wife, we got married, and I parked it uh, from 04 to pretty much 08. I didn't do anything to it. Uh, during that time, whenever the car was parked, uh, I wanted to see how bad the bodywork was, so I sanded it down to the bare metal, and then actually ran out of money, so I just rattle canned it uh, black, uh, just so that it wouldn't start rusting, and uh, that's pretty much how the car stayed. Uh, there was a purple BF Goodrich poster with the 69 Charger 500 that um, had the BF Goodrich tires on there. It says uh, BF Goodrich well, when you're ready to get serious. And I've always wanted those tires and back in college I could never afford them so I always had just like regular black wool tires and whatnot. I ended up uh, finally back in 08 finding out that they were actually called uh, Bassett Racing Wheels. So I ended up actually calling uh, Bassett Racing directly and after brainstorming with the guy and him telling me, have you tried this shop, have you tried this shop? Uh, I said, yes, I called them, they don't have it, they don't have it, so I was able to custom order the, the back wheels. So those are 15 by 10 with five, five inch back spacing. And uh, those were put on my car, like I said, back in 08, and they do have uh, 295 50 R15s in the back. 
And so I was able to pretty much recreate that poster uh, with the wheels and tires that I had always wanted from when I was a little kid. So one of the things that I was having a lot of problems with is every time that I worked on my car, it was always really hard to find information. Like I mentioned earlier, um, I searched forever on trying to find out what kind of wheels were on that BF Goodrich poster and could not find any information on it. And so uh, it was really a struggle to try to find any information on keeping my car original and whatnot. So one of the things that I decided to do was uh, create a couple of social media accounts uh, on Instagram at 68 underscore charger. Uh, I always post stuff in there daily and I'm always happy to share any information because like I mentioned earlier, it's a little bit hard. Uh, I know whenever people can't find that information and look online for a while and can't find anything. So I'm always happy to share with everything that I've done to my car, part numbers, uh, specs, uh, sizes. I've actually gone in there and Measure, people, uh, measure stuff for people, send them pictures, that way they, um, they can find that information and not be searching for, uh, for a while so they, they don't have to reinvent the wheel. And then uh, I do have also a YouTube channel, 68 underscore charger, and same thing with that one. I do pretty much weekly videos on updating my car, and uh, if you have any questions, you guys can always get in there Find, it, find out about it and just, uh, just ask and I'll be happy to share my information that I know.